Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel, and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. I have about seven years of experience in support. My previous level was L2 support, and I'm pursuing cloud administration. Please suggest cloud field without coding knowledge. See, uh, when when you are going into cloud field without coding knowledge, either you are going into cloud administration or you are going into cloud solution architecture. Okay, because cloud administration means that you are just setting up a cloud infrastructure and where coding may not be required. Okay, or you are monitoring a cloud application just to make sure your cloud is running properly. In which case, whatever you have learned on support, that will be very beneficial. Okay, but if you go into cloud solution architecture, then there you will learn about what are the different services which are available on the cloud, which can be used for clients to build whatever application they want to build within there, or even they don't want to build an application, they just want the cloud for storage specific purpose, okay? Or they want a, a cloud solution for, for they, they already have a local, local, uh, local area network and they want to uh, have a hybrid, uh, hybrid network in which they will have a local area network as well as cloud uh, network and they want to put some applications on cloud, whereas they want to use some application from local area network where a solution architect will come in and they will design a solution architecture. They, they will say that, okay, these are the application which you can easily move to the cloud. This is what you will need to do. This is the infrastructure that you will need to use. These are the services that you can use for the cloud. So all that thing comes under the cloud solution architecture. Both cloud administration and cloud solution architecture according to me does not require programming okay easiest way to do this silesh is to go to aws learning center why aws because or you can even go to azure because aws is the is the number one cloud infrastructure second position is azure azure and aws are almost hand in hand okay so uh, Either you learn AWS cloud or you learn Azure cloud, but within that you can go for either a system administrator or as a solution architect and you can go to AWS learning center and there you will have various different courses either to become an AWS cloud administrator or to become a AWS solution architect. Okay, same kind of uh, courses will be available on channel nine for Microsoft because Azure is a Microsoft platform and Channel 9 is a training platform of Microsoft. Or you can even go to MSDN and you will get a lot of training uh, available, which will be easier because see, you need to understand the syllabus, okay? What you need to learn, what will help you to get a job will be based on the syllabus which has been taught in such courses, okay? So it is easy if you have a syllabus to follow. If you know that, okay, there are these 10 things, 20 things for me to learn, if I learn these 10, 20 things, then I will be able to do a job. Then it becomes easy for you. Okay. So it's always good to go to a syllabus and study what, what all things you need to learn. Then you learn from anywhere. It's better to learn from the source directly. Like I would like to learn if I want to go and work for AWS, then I would like to learn from AWS Learning Center. Okay. It's much easier that way. All of you. Who are still watching this video like this video and subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon i do this live session on every thursday at 9 5 pm if you are interested in how to become an a player then in the description of this video you will find a link okay thank you very much